Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. That return, it will not be on the postseason highlight reel. If you're the offensive coordinator, you've just changed your play calling because you thought you had some field to work with. Instead, now you've got to call plays that won't make mistakes. The Dak going to start out going to the air. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll be upended at the 18. That's a very hard to pick up a nine after the play began at the nine. A second down throw for Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. Nice play on the football. The ball was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground. You just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. It's not the dream. set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. They're going to the air on the opening drive. Now Dak, he's going to mix it up. Prescott yet again. And throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Attention time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get to his back. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now they'll change things up. Four. They'll run four with Pollard. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. In motion right, Watkins. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Ferguson. And the Cowboys are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Pollard trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Second and goal from the one. Looking to throw. Prescott. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Milton Williams in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Here's Prescott. Being chased out left. The pressure gets to him again. The field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try and sing on fourth and goal. Prescott to throw it. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from the 20. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up for offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. offense sent to begin their next drive and for this offense Charles you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out they threw the interception on the very first play and you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum they're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now to me it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back and that's caught inside the 35 first down now but that clock rolling Hurt sets up to throw it. The man has got it, the tight end. And they're going to have a first down and also well into field goal range, all the way down to the 15 here. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here now, third and a yard. 63, 63, 63. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. So the late touchdown there, and that certainly changes things as we move toward halftime. Yeah, and there's a potential for things to change even more because, remember, they get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they can potentially double up here and take the lead. A great opportunity for them. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now 13 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Hey, hey, kill, 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 kill. Forty-seven. 
Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Philly offense set to go. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Second down, here's Hurts. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department, third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And Hurt's going to move him around. third down he'll drop to throw he's gonna look deep for Watkins and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off by Jordan Lewis and the Cowboys are gonna take over at their own 28 yard line I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball but oftentimes it attracts a little bit of extra attention and it did on that play and that one got knocked away on second down Prescott again he finds his man complete it's Ferguson and he'll be taken down but not in the field and working across midfield Prescott looks to throw on first going right Back to Ferguson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And again, it's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A first down throw for Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. This carry brought to an end at the eighth. Good stick skills, but not much room to operate. The ball on the eighth still could get a first down technically, second and seven. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson from eight yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead.
So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. Dancing to his left. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. They'll drop to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Now Brown already lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, I know he doesn't want to fumble loss by his name, but it was fourth down. I don't think he was going to get to the marker anyway. I think he just hired you as his attorney because you have just argued that this fumble is actually okay. I'm just saying not all fumbles are created equal, and they probably, the defense would have had the ball there anyway. That's okay, so, so the defense gets credit now, right? Someone yes. gets a nice little mark by their name, but it really doesn't hurt the other guy because he wasn't getting there anyway. I like that. Good job. On second down, it's Pollard. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. He was brought down at the 26. To throw is Prescott. Well, there's Gallup. Nice catch. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run with Pollard. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Pollard again. And this time he'll get down close to the goal line, but not quite in as he stopped at the one-yard line. It's now, third and now here's Pollard. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape.
escape, and that is not going to get it done. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go here on fourth and goal to hit Pater, but they're going to go for it. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and if I would kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. And they're going to speed things up here. On first and 10, it's Hurts. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're going to throw on the ball as well. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Throwing his hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 69 yards. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Elliott good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. offense here set to begin the drive and with that last touchdown I mean we're set up for a good finish here some things to consider Charles obviously it's a very close game you're in the fourth quarter defensively they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket so the chess match really ramps up doesn't it because in these situations what do you do do you run the ball and kill the clock here or you try and bury them with another score and how about defensively do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity or wait till you hit the two-minute warning so there's a lot going into this one let's see how each side goes about their strategy another throw on second down and this one incomplete as well that incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial they need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum the other side is starting to gain Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. Now 
Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. To the air again, Prescott. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. The Eagles will set up for the two-point conversion. 63, 63, 63, Silver, Silver, Silver. will throw and this is caught and it's a three-point game so that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them yeah that's really good strategy because that's all you care about not getting beat at this stage at least give your team a fighting chance Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. This is first and 10. Now Prescott. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now Dak. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long to throw Prescott. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. This is fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Into the hands of Cooks. Finding space at the 40. Down the right sideline, inside the 20, Brandon Cooks. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, 
Might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this one away. They'll going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. to his right. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw a second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber... I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On any pass in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Completion here, second and ten from the 20. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hit zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Buying time to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down Prescott and Cooks hands it over the middle and he's across for the touchdown and in the final minute that should just about seal it and that touchdown Charles with very little time remaining boy it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline yeah, take an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. The try here for the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's caught inside the five. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. And they've got it. They recovered it. They hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. 
Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And it's knocked away and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Another try, second and ten now. Sets up to throw it. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, Prescott here to throw. Into space at the 45. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On play action, Prescott. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. A second down throw for Prescott. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Now we'll get whistles, and they signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth.